previously on Hell's Kitchen. You got start from scratch. Yep. Mark tried to put his issues with the blue team behind him. I want to work well with you guys. I'm over arguing with the blue team. That turned the house against me. In the morning, both teams found something to celebrate. This is my birthday. And I oh, shit! Yeah! And their challenge started on a high note. Yeah! The chefs first unleashed oh. some energy. And then they had to modernize an Italian classic. Biggest side first. Yep. It's good when you can see your fingers underneath. Whose fucking risotto is this? It's burned. And while Lauren and Amber rocked out. Beautiful. Yep. Jordan. My risotto's undercooked. Thank you, chefs. Cyan. I'm judging you on tortellini. There isn't any there. And Josh. It's too dense. Oh, dear. All fell flat. That's how my birthday's going to start today. In dinner service, Josh was lost on garnish. All of you, taste the mash. Salt, salt, salt. Bland, bland. Nothing's going to break right now. And Amber drowned on the fish station. Look, raw. Come on, Amber. What's happening? I know you can do better than this. I know how to cook salmon. <laughs> Over in the red kitchen. Oh, Jordan, fucking hell, man. I do not get it. Jordan, scallops took a wallop. Tough, tough, tough it up. And the meat station had its share of issues. And the lamb, that man's been back in the field. Mary Lou, yes, chef. drive it, let's go. Yes, chef, yes, chef. But Mary Lou came to the rescue and led her kitchen to victory. Mary Lou, yes, chef. nice and cooked. I'm so fucking proud of you. I'm proud of you. You are a Wait, don't hook me oh, first, yeah. chef. Don't hook me first, chef. Don't touch me. <laughs> so the blue team nominated. Amber. And. Josh. Before Chef Ramsay eliminated. Josh. Ending his dream of becoming head chef at Hell's Kitchen Lake Tahoe. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now it's time to emerge as leaders. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good night. Good night, Chef. Thank you, Chef. It's awful. I never want to disappoint Chef Ramsay, and my team threw my name in the hat because they think I'm a big threat. Nobody wants to be in the final two with somebody who they feel is stronger than them. So fucked up. So I just need to keep my eye on the prize. Oh, go to the hot tub with me? Oh, God. Yeah, let's go in the hot, hot tub. tub. Yeah, let's all get actually... weird. All right, let's go get in the hot tub. Mary's getting naked. I don't know how to relax, but if you're doing back massages, I bet you I can learn real quick. All right, Cody. Sorry, I got to get Thank in here. Oh, quick elimination. Holy shit, I see the light. Oh, she's good with her hands. I like it, I like it. That's because she's been a lesbian before. <laughs> she's right about that. <laughs> what, because you used to be a uh -huh. lesbian? I don't know how somebody used to be. It's just you ain't found another chick you want to fuck with. Yeah. It's all about the fingers. Spare fingers. We going in. Oh, I see ass. Hello. She's like wearing a thong. You better watch out. Cody's on the loose. Today was a stressful day. We made it through. We're still here, so hell yeah, we're celebrating. And this one over here, Big Booty Judy. How y'all doing? Can I can can I get your number? Can I can I cook for you on Wednesday nights? Hell yeah. Oh my God. All right, I gotta go check my blood pressure. I'm gonna be out back. <laughs> Jesus, Lord in heaven. Woo! Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning chef. chef. Las Vegas is now one of the culinary capitals in the world. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. And Surf and Turf has been a Vegas staple for decades. But today, it has evolved. Great chefs have been reinventing that dish for years. And that is what today's challenge is all about. I love Surf and Turf. Lobster, shrimp, scallops, a little piece of steak. I'm getting hungry, sorry. <laughs> but you're not going to be cooking a surf and turf. You're going to be tasting it. Oh, fuck, I'm allergic. Great. I'm allergic to shellfish. Holy shit. Each team will compete one at a time, and you'll be paired in groups of two. When I say go, first team will taste the dish, run into the dining room, find those proteins, run back, and place them next to the dish. If both proteins are wrong, the lights will turn red. If the proteins are right, the light will turn green. 
But if you get one right and one wrong, the light will turn blue. The team that identifies all six proteins, the fastest, wins the challenge. Red team, you won dinner service last night, so you're up first. This is going to be yeah. fun. Blue team, head to the patio. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. First pair, step up, please. Let's go, ladies. All right. Come on, girls. On your mark, set, go. In today's challenge, Chef Ramsay has disguised several proteins to look like traditional surf and turf dishes. Come on, ladies. Each pair must correctly identify both proteins used to make the dish. Catfish, guys, catfish. Uh-uh. Looks like it. When we pull off that dough, I see fried chicken, I see clams. It's chicken clams. It's really that easy. You I'll chicken. chicken. Right there in front of you. There's chicken. Right there on your left, right there. Clams. 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 Go, 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 ladies. Chicken and clams. What she said. Oh, oh, get rid of the chicken. Get rid of the chicken. Not gonna be the obvious, girls. This is dry. It's probably turkey. Oh, it's pork. Maybe, pork. No, pork. 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 Come on. It's not mussels. It's, it's mussels. Oh, they are mussels. It's mussels. Shit. Where's pork? On the left hand side. Get the pork. Get the pork. Where is it? Pork. Come on. Pork. Get the pork. Pork. Get the pork. 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 Come on. Come on. Pork. Yeah, pork. Mary Lou, run it. Pork. Uh, mussels and pork. Mussels and pork. Yes. Fifty-three seconds. Ooh. ooh. Next pair, let's go. <laughs> All right, filet. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pull them apart, pull them apart. Lobster. They're hiding them. That's lobster. Do bison, do bison. Are you sure? Crab. It looks like crab. They look, it looks like king crab. King crab. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. Let's go. Woo, let's, let's go. go. There's crab legs everywhere. It's too early for that. Bison and crab. No. Oh. Taste it, ladies. It's Taste mean. it. Grab the filet. That's filet. That's fucking a filet. I told you. <laughs> filet, filet, filet. Let's go. Together, together, together. Go. together. Go. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. Go back, go back. Filet and crab, king crab. Oh. Oh. Now Thanks. they're both wrong. They're both wrong. Go. Think, think. You had one right before. Is it crab and filet? Crab and filet? Put the filet back up. Put the filet back up. Girls, shut up. You're not tasting it. You don't know. Bison and lobster. <sighs> Mama knows. Yes. Yes. Come on, Ty. Go, 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 go. Taste, taste, taste. Gotta go together. All right, ladies. All right. Go. Taste that shit. We have two tacos. Taco number one. Take one bite. All right. Found a white fish. Yum, 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 yum. Second taco. Suspect. That's ugly. Is what it is. It look weird. It tastes weird. Listen to us, guys. We your team. Whatever it is, I know I don't like it. I, can't I see, see crab. Looks like squid. It's not squid, it's a white fish. It's a white fish. Try the snapper. snapper. Come on. Right there, grab it. Snapper. snapper. Try right. it, grab it. Make it Shut twist. Out. Run back and forth 10 yeah, times. Come on, see it coming back forth. Venison and snapper. One. Come on, Seth, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Process elimination, come on. Snapper and help. Take it back, come on, come on, come on. Just keep grabbing meat until you get it. Veal and snapper. Oh! Go, 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 go. Duck and snapper. Let it go. Let's go. Jordan, oh, I'm on the side behind her. At this point, we're just playing Russian roulette with all these meats. Grab it and snapper. And none of them are right. Go, 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 go. Right. Take up the one right. on the left hand side in the middle. Come on, side. Don't give up. It's something gamey. Yeah, I don't understand why we're right, waiting. Grab it, just grab it and run. <laughs> just grab something. Put it down. Let's guess. It doesn't work. Throw it away. We pick another one. Wasting time, ladies. Side. Come on. Just grab a red meat. Let's go. We done already grabbed all the fucking red meats. Is it quail? Is there a quail up there? Short rib? Squab. Come on. Is it catfish? Come on, come on, come on. Squab is never. Congratulations. Stop the clock. Oh, my God. Oof. 8.46. Never had squab before. I still can't get this gamey, meaty taste out of my mouth. OK. Blue team. Let me show you the time you have to beat. 8.46. OK, ladies, I see you, but we're going to beat you today. Now, do you have to come in under that? Let's see this, baby. As the clock ticks down, the pressure's a little bit higher. Cody, I'm up. Blue team, you're first up. In position, please. I'm hoping that that gets to the blue team's head. On your mark, get set, go. Let's go. With the clock ticking down from the red team's time, Mark and Cody start things off for the blue team. We see clams and some kind of breaded meat. It looks like chicken. Too easy. I got this. Clams and chicken. Go. go, 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 go. go. Come on. 
They're clams, They're guys. Clams. They're not mussels. Let's go. In this challenge, things are not as they seem. Clams and chicken chef. You have nothing right. Told you, bro. Go. Run. I think I was half right. It was a clam shell. It's mussels for sure. Mussels and turkey chef. One right. Let's go back. Turkey, turkey back. Turkey back. Wait, one minute, 46 seconds in. Pork. Hurry up, hurry up. Pork and mussels. Congratulations, let's go. go. Next one. I'm allergic to shellfish. So Declan's going to taste the fish, I'm going to taste the meat, and that's our strategy going into this next round. Filet and king crab chef. Taste again. Come on, blue team. What is meat? It's going to be rice. Yeah. yeah. Go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Bison. Under this crab and bison. One right. It's not poison. Ostrich and Ostrich Dungeons crab. Nothing right. Crab back. Crab, crab back. back. Try the lamb. It's bison. He had one right before. Work it out. Beef. No, I already took that one, Declan. Bison is right. Declan is so scatterbrained that he's picking up the same protein boards. Is that you already had that? You already had that, Declan. <laughs> So don't just crap. No, you already took that one. This guy is just all over, man. Grab something. Let's go back. I'm going to taste it. Fuck it. We're not getting anywhere. I need to taste this shellfish, even if it might kill me. It's a it's fucking crab. Crap. Right away, I know. It's like lobster. What's down up front? It's lobster. Lobster and bison. Congratulations. Yeah. Next. Let's go, let's go, 355. Let's go. While Amber looks after her shellfish allergy. Thank you. Declan will go again, pairing up with Adam for the final round. That's a white fish. Come on. OK, let's go. Three minutes. I think it's venison. I think it's venison. Yes. I think it's venison. What's the white fish? It wasn't catfish. Was it dirty? It was halibut. OK, let's go. Let's go. Back. Right. Venison and halibut. Zero. Come on, guys. Three minutes to go. Come on. <laughs> This is not really like a taste test challenge. This is more like an endurance challenge. Cod for sure. Come on! I'm an old man with a bad knee. Goat cod. Nope. Ostrich and monkfish. No! Quail and snapper. You've got one right. You got quail right. Snapper, snapper back. back. Quail no right. Snapper back. Snapper, snapper back. Two minutes to go. I'm stressed. It is down to the wire. They are on their last plate. Out of it, quail. No! Fuck me. I'm just praying that they run out of time. Catfish and squab. One right. 60 seconds to go. Come on. Go, Bring the snapper back. Bring the snapper run. back. I have yelled snapper seven times. And it's not like I'm just like, snapper, snapper. I'm like, snapper. Let's go. Bring it back. Go, Bring the snapper back. Snapper or flounder? Flounder. Bring a white fish. Flounder, go. Start running. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Squab and flounder. No! Snapper. Are you sure? Bring the snapper right. back. Oh, fuck. 10, 9, Get the monkfish! Where's seven, the monkfish? Six, Bring the five, snapper five, back. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. In today's Surf and Turf Palette Challenge. Come on! The red team identified all six proteins in eight minutes, 46 seconds. That's a white fish. Now, it's up to Adam and Declan to determine the final two proteins for the blue team. Where's Ten, the monkfish? Nine, yeah. eight, seven, oh. six, six, five, five four, three, no. two, Grab a monkfish. Oh. No! Oh. tell you how many times I yelled snapper. We should have one. Red team, well done. Thank, Thank you, chef. chef. You girls are going to ride this wave of victory to Planet Hollywood's rooftop flow rider surfing experience. Yeah. Yeah. I really wanted to go swimming. Are you ready to hang 10? Yes, yeah. 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 Let's get it. Go get ready. Yeah, well done. You, Good chef. job. We're going surfing. We're going to hang 10. Hell yeah. Oh, blue team. Damn, you had it. That we did, Joe. Right, while the ladies are enjoying some fun in the sun, you're going to suffer through one shell of a punishment because you will be shelling by hand crab. Oh, great. 
I'm also allergic to crab. This is awful. You're gonna have to prepare all the crab that we need for tonight's menu. Right, head to the patio. Oh, boy. Taken down by a snapper. I can't believe there were mussels in those clamshells. I was telling you guys, man. We dropped the ball on this one. You gotta believe in your team, bro. Smoke? No, no joke. <clears throat> Do you see what's going on there? Mm -hmm. Like, Cody doesn't smoke. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. You just do you. Fuck him. It's not easy to switch teams. Watch your back. The blue team has such a different mentality for how to get through all of this together. Any chance somebody's not looking and they can fuck somebody over, it's going to happen. If you guys are going to have team meetings, you want to get everybody, because... We're not having a team meeting. I came out here to smoke a cigarette. If it's going to be like, let's play dirty, then fine. It's not what that, 100%. Yeah, what is this? I'm talking about really measuring out the fucking crab cake. I'm just saying, like, all the girls just, like, literally said in front of Mark and I, like, hey, you realize they just said, like, Cody said smoke, and Cody doesn't smoke, and they left you two in here. I don't know why you listen to the red team. I really just want to work as a team, and I don't want any problems, you know? So don't be listening to the girls. They're putting daggers into you. It's really uncomfortable switching teams, and I'm just trying to do the right thing. But you're on the blue team now, so chill. All right. Paranoia? So fucking annoying. Amber is still, like, half red team, half blue team. She needs to understand that if she wants to go far in this competition, she needs to be fully blue team, or she's going to get pushed out all the way. Let's go. Everybody got the crab cake recipe? Yeah. You big, beautiful beast. Well, well, well. Oh, my God. Ugh. This fucking sucks. Do not get a shell in here, OK? That's the yes, last sir. thing we're going to need. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. OK, well, let's get it moving. Crab City. How bad is it looking for how much meat you need? After we pick through all the shells, we need to yield at least 40 pounds for 200 crab cakes. <sighs> all right. I've worked with crabs plenty of times in the past, but never this many crabs. You know, we're suffering right now. Hands are gonna fucking be raw after this shit. You separate the body from the legs. And in the torso, there's small filaments in between each one. So you have to crack them, and then you pick it out with a stick. You start working on the floss. We also need fresh shallot, fresh parsley, lemon zest. There's a lot of components, and we need 200 crab cakes. You ever been surfing, Declan? Do I look like I've ever been surfing? While the blue team is having one shell of the day, the red team doubles down on fun and sun. Welcome to the Flow Rider. My name's Riley. I'll be your guys' instructor today. Yeah! Oh, I'm not nervous. It's water. It ought to be fine. I have some floating devices that'll help me. We're having a good time. We're trying to hang 10. I grew up in San Diego. I grew up surfing and riding boogie board. So, you know, it's right up my alley. But it's a lot different. It's not as easy as it looks. like big awkward limbs and my center of gravity is not conducive to the whole stand up surfing thing. Check that off the uh, bucket list and just move on. All my fun muffins, y'all all owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> While the red team is enjoying the perks that come with winning, if we lose another team member, how will that work? Start bringing the girls over here. The blue team is discussing the ramifications of their losing streak. Yeah, but I still think that's not a good mindset to have. Yeah, that I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Because then Amber's gonna team up with her, and then we're all fucked. That is a little aggressive. Amber, you've got to start trusting us. I just felt like they had my back in a different way over there. I told you, we've got your back. 
I'm staying quiet on this. Why are you staying quiet? Uh, I like talking when it's meaningful. Amber, you've got to start trusting us. I just felt like they had my back in a different way over there. I'm staying quiet on this. Why are you staying quiet? Uh, I like talking when it's meaningful. This is a team competition, but I'm not here to make friends. Red team! Red team! Don't even look at him. No, don't engage. Keep your head in the game. Don't engage. Krabby Patty's in the blue kitchen. How's it going, y'all? Hey! Hi, guys. Crickets. I need to lay down for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, boo. Hey, big booty. How you doing? I missed you. I like how you cut that, um, that scallion. Big black women love me for some reason. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. OK, OK. Uh, oh, man. You all good over there? Mm-hmm. You all talk to me about it? You guys all have each other's back, and you're supportive and uplifting, and they're just not like that. They're all out for each other, and it's just really hard. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You need to survive one more day, because if the blue team loses one more person, one of us goes over there. Amber's a very loyal person, so if they treat her right, she will treat them right. But I hope that she gets it solved, because I really want to see her here. I just don't want to be on the blue team anymore. Who's prepping what? I'll do sides. I haven't done that. I'm going to do You're going to do garnish? Kind of helping everybody get my hands in all of it. See, get your hands all dirty, girl. Get it dirty. Are you okay, Mark? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. There is a lot riding on my shoulders right now. I have no room for error this evening in service. And so I'm just going to put my best foot forward and I'm gonna cook from my heart. We gotta win this one tonight. Yes. Chef. There's no hiding behind any excuses. Mourinho. See you, Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. So bit though. Once again, it's an exciting night at Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Yes. 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 Love it. yeah. The most sought after reservation in Vegas. How it should be awesome. Cheers, everyone. Happy yeah. birthday, Mom. Thank you to Chef Ramsey. <laughs> Throngs of people fill the dining room. Have you heard any broken dishes yet or anything? <laughs> and orders pile into the kitchen. Four covers, table 51. Two risotto, one scallop, one carbonara. Yes, sure, Chef. Let's go. Guys, get in a rhythm right away. Mary Lou, you doing good on that risotto? Yes, I can give you a solid four minutes. Working garnish is the backbone of the brigade. You are the one that is telling everybody what to do and making sure we get out all together. Let's go. Walking carbonara. Jump Christina, on your right, I have Rizzo. Coming hot. Scallops in the window, chef. Her, scallops in the window. Nice to cook the scallops. Yes, chef. Thank you. Good job, ladies. Got this tonight. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. While the red kitchen is off to a smooth start. An order fire, blue team. Four covers, table 12. One scallop, one carbonara, two beet salad. Her chef. Let's go. The blue kitchen is out for redemption. How long you need for carbonara so I can drop my scallop, Mark? Let's say five, five minutes. minutes. Heard. Tonight, I'm on apps with Cody. We've got to make sure that we're poised, we're in control, and that we're focused and we're communicating. We got this, chef. We got your back. Adam, how long? On scallops. I got to drop them. Three and a half. OK, thank you, three and a half. I've been wanting to do fish for a long time. What's up? Hold on, hold on. What? I'm good with it. I'm driving out of a station that usually crashes and burns, and here's my chance to shine. Come on, don't leave those scallops, Adam, please. Scallops walking or not? Walk it. Right behind her. Adam! Yes, sir. Please, God, can we do one good service, make Chef Ramsay happy, and make sure we get it on point? Please. I saw you over there in the fridge getting something out. I don't know what the fuck it was. Yes, sir. It was, look at me. It wasn't more important than this. No, sir. So when you abandon that, you're going to create shit. Yes. That is shit. Yes, Chef. Scallop tail pan on. I've got the carbonara, I've got the beet salad, scallops drop urgently. I cannot believe our food's not here. What do you think the hold up is? We're waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't have an excuse. It's just embarrassing.
Go, please. Oh, my God. I have the scallop. Finally. Adam finally executes scallops. Mine's really good. But over in the red kitchen, the ladies have already moved on to entrees. Fine now, please. Lamb, salmon, Wellington. Let's go. So what are y'all about to send out? Salmon. You need one salmon in four minutes, OK? Am I dropping the salmon now? Yes, right yes, now. Yes, go now. We're firing garnish blocks in three. I'm feeling good. Everybody's communicating. How long on salmon? I need another two minutes. Meats are walking in one minute. I'm hoping and praying that I can keep this momentum going for a fish station. Ty, you can't sell that. Why? It's burnt. That skin is burnt? Sorry, don't sell it. Don't sell that. And that salmon is black. Mama, look at that skin. She said it was burnt. Is that burnt? That's a little burnt, just a little. You have another one? How's this? It's on the brink. So no, I'm not selling this. It looks OK to me. That one looks better than the other ones. I really think it's OK. Yeah, put that one down with the other one. Salmon is not a hard protein, so I don't really understand what's happening to her right now. I cook salmon every single day of my life. Walking Wellington and salmon size, girl. Hey, hey, come on, Ty, get in the game. Where's the callback? Let's go. Yeah, Chef, right behind. Wellington nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. Lamb nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. Where's the salmon, please? Come on, ladies. Get that over the heat. Put it I'm on waiting the on the salmon. I've got the sauce. i got no fucking salmon. I need, two I need two minutes. I told them, chef. You told them? Yes, Is that I right? did. I kept them updated, told the chef. Minutes. I did. She I did, did tell chef. you that. Two minutes ago. She said two minutes, two minutes ago. Yes, chef. So it's time now, right? Yes, chef. I've sliced the Wellington. The lamb's sliced. I'm almost there, chef. She said two minutes ago. Time's up, Sai. Yes, chef. I'm there, chef. Sai, you better be sure about that. Walking up hot. You absolutely sure about that, Sai? Sai. Oh, shit. What did I do? It's 50 minutes into dinner service. Time's up, Sai. Yes, chef. I'm there, chef. Sai, you better be sure about that. Walking up hot. You absolutely sure about that, Sai? And Cyan's insecurity on the fish station has her rushing salmon to the pass. Sai, beefy done. Thank you, chef. With Cyan somehow nailing her salmon temperature. Two salmon, one halibut, one Wellington. Fire. Yes, yes chef. chef. How long do you need, Sai? I need six minutes. Six minutes. Five hey. minutes garnish, six minutes protein. The Red Kitchen is off to the races with their next ticket. All right, one Wellington from us? Yeah, we got one that's resting okay. ready to go. Me and Nikki are on the meat station tonight. The next ticket, salmon, lamb to New York. Hey. Yes, chef. We're vibing. We've got to keep it up, keep it going. Coming down hot behind. Yep. Open behind. Two salmon, one halibut, one Wellington. How long? Two salmon and halibut going out right now. Thank you. Heard? Two Wellington to your left. Hot? Hot? New York strip and lamb walking. Right behind, Chef. Hey, ladies, all of you. Hey, come here. Come here. This is not good. Go now. It's two salmon, one halibut, one Wellington. Who just brought me this? I did, Chef. Is that the next table? My apologies, Chef. I misunderstood. Sai, are you ready for the next ticket? No, I'm not, Chef. Garnish, are you ready for the next ticket? No, no Chef, I needed two minutes, Chef. They're not ready. Garnish's not ready. And look, on top of all that, I've got two bits of black shit salmon. <laughs> now, I'm going to start this whole fucking thing again. I want two salmon, one halibut, one Wellington. Yes, Chef. My fault, guys. I don't know why that meat went up. None of us was nowhere near ready. What are we working right now? I need two salmon right now and a halibut, and a halibut. right now. Come on, Jordan. I'm already in the weeds with what I have going on on fish. I'm getting really, really pissed now. And what about the lamb? Do you, you need that with that? They need a lamb and a Wellington from you. OK, for this ticket that lamb, we're putting Lamb, Wellie, two salmon, one halibut. That is the refire. Beautiful. Heard? OK. While the Red Kitchen must refire their first mistake in the Blue Kitchen. I'll order four colors. Table 14. Two Wellington, one Hannibal, one New York strip. Yes? Her chef. Yes, Her chef. Her Amber. Two Wellington, one New York strip, chef. It's me, Heavy. Yes, chef. Let's go. Amber is determined to shine on the meat station. How long you need? 
I need exactly six minutes. Amber's on mute station tonight, and she just has to prove to all of us that she's meant to be here. Let the pan get hot. Yeah, we gotta got push you. it. We gotta okay. push it. It's pretty much you sink or swim here, and this is gonna be that test for her. Dropping halibut right now. These ones are too thin. I just don't want it to go over. In Hell's Kitchen, so many variables get into your head. Don't overcook it, OK? Yes, chef. With meat temperatures, you have to be very, very careful. Oh, fuck me. It needs to be perfect. It needs to be done right. Pulling first two wellies to rest. Fuck, man, they're a little dark. I don't want to fuck up here. Let it rest for two and a half. I'll walk the hell of it, OK? Fuck my life. It's fucking over, man. It's fucking over. I don't have any room for error tonight. None. Where are we at now? Amber. I don't want to walk this trip. It's all soggy. I shouldn't sell it, yeah? No, you're good. That's our point. Okay. Take it out. There's not a good sear. It's not the sear I want. Amber, stop fussing. Get that food up and give it to Chef Ramsey. Adam, check that for her. That steak, she's worried that it's overdone. It's over. It doesn't have a sear. I'm not serving it. I need one more minute. No, man. Like, we're not walking that steak because guess what? A good leader doesn't try to walk shit that they know isn't right. New York on your left. Oh, my lord. Look at this. Amber. Yes, chef. Come here. Fuck. I've never seen such perfect cooking in meat ever this year. I'm talking about both kitchens. This is absolutely spot on. Thank you, chef. Keep it up, Thank good you, girl. Chef. I can cook better than all these people here. I just need to own it and trust myself. As Amber impresses Chef Ramsay with her perfectly cooked steak. Absolutely extraordinary. In the red kitchen. Two minutes walking garnish, heard? Yes, heard. Corey is pushing to get the refired ticket out. So Wellington and Lamb are walking. Bye, Chef. What's that lamb up in the fourth, Chef? God knows. I saw the next ticket. That's the one they messed up last time. Oh, boy. Red team, sorry to disturb you. The meat station's bought the lamb again. Corey, come on, the man. The lamb is for the next ticket. You told us there was a lamb on this ticket. Yeah, no, you, it's the next ticket, you I said. said. You ticket. said 10 times that it was on this ticket. They need a lamb and a Wellington from you. OK. That is the refire. Beautiful. Her? OK. Don't tell us no. to fire it if it's not fired. I didn't say fire. I said next ticket. She yeah. fucked us. At this point in the game, I'm not taking fire for something that I didn't fucking do. So what do we do now, then, red team? Refire it, Jeff. I mean, there's a lack of communication on Corey's part, and now we're just dragging ass. One salmon, one lamb, two New York strip. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. I have to do these two New York strip, and our next ticket isn't fired yet. While the red team struggles with communication, you got it, Nick. Come on. The blue team gets tested with a six top, two salmon, two New York strip, two lamb. Two salmon, two New York strip, two lamb. I need eight, Chef. Eight minutes heard. Let's go. Cody, but I need you to keep eyes on those two strips. Yep, got you. We're really working as a team. Let's just talk to each other. Let's go up together. Yep, absolutely. The conversation is flowing. Two salmon dropping. Heard. The communication is perfect. Cody, you got it? Yep. And the kitchen is a buzz right now. So let's keep it up. One minute. Ready to walk? Yeah, go ahead, walk. Bike's hot. It feels really great that we are finally finding our rhythm on the blue team. Right now, Chef. For the first time, and I think ever since I've been on the blue team, everybody is finally on the same page. Exceptional. Thank you, Chef. Keep it going. While the blue kitchen basks in praise. Lamb, salmon, two New York strip. How long? Four minutes, Chef. Four minutes, let's go. The red team attempts to correct a mistake for the third time. I need another two minutes. Everybody is a little bit frantic now because the one smooth selling course that we had has now become very bumpy. Steaks are going to be walking in 10 seconds. Those are ready. Those can walk. Lamb can walk. All right. Are they ready for me to walk the steaks? Garner's walking right now. Beautiful. Go ahead, okay. take the New York to get them soft. Go. OK. Salmon, you're walking? Yep. Walking up hot. Oh, boy. Red team, come here. Oh, boy. Red team, come here. Uh, Come here. Oh, my God. Fries soggy, undercooked, beef overcooked. We've got medium now. We've got medium. And salmon's ice cold in the middle. There's no excuse, Chef. No excuse, Chef. No excuse. I'm done. Blue team, come here. You, come here. All of you. On the stations now. Oh, chef. On the stations. Amber, on meat. 
Declan, on fish. Yes, chef. Adam, yes, take sir. over the garnish. Yes, chef. Now show some accountability. Yes, Have a fucking meeting, a very serious meeting, and find out which two individuals you can do without. Fuck off! That was a fucking nightmare. We got kicked out of dinner service again. This is gonna be a rough fucking conversation. And at this point in the competition, there's no reason we should be having these issues still. While the red team contemplates their disastrous service. What the fuck is going on here? The blue team works to restore order. Garnish is ready. New York coming to the window in a minute. Simon so walking to the pass. Extraordinary. Let's go. Feeding hungry diners to finish the night. That just melted in my mouth. Well done. Nice work, guys. So we got raw salmon, soggy fries, and overcooked steak. Every single one of us made mistakes tonight, and it's just which ones really contributed to the downfall of the team as a whole. Sai, so you know how much I love you, girl, but I think Fish was definitely the weakest today. I know that for sure. I'm not, I have no problem going in. Who else is coming? Chef wants us to be owning up accountability. Everybody had their hand in the fuck up pot. I'm just not the only person that's messing up, but I'm the only one taking accountability. Go around, let's go. I think Corey, I feel like it's huge miscommunication tonight. I feel like you were flustered. Yes, did I fuck up on the last french fry? Absolutely. Because I was rushing it to get the shit out because we still have the other tickets to go. Today is a complete clusterfuck. Salmons were undercooked. The meats kept coming back. But you know what, that's OK. The french fry, whoa. Fuck me for the french fry. I get the lack of communication, but I honestly don't think that I should go up. Those two New York strips, that was me. But that was the only real mistake that I made. If I'm being unbiased and blatantly honest, I feel like that I actually did pretty well. Everybody wants to say on accountability, but Jordan, you were the one who sent up me. That was on the next ticket, and that's where broke the camel's back. Do not let the next person put themselves in if you know you had a share of fucking up to. That lamb wouldn't have made it up there if it wasn't for Corey. This whole thing is a bunch of bullshit. Corey just couldn't pull it together. That started a lot of the domino effect in the kitchen. So frustrating. It's so frustrating. Damn. Oh, this is gonna keep getting harder and harder. Could definitely go for a cocktail. He's pissed as fuck. Blue team. That was one of the best dinner services we've ever had in Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Extraordinary. Blue team switched on. Red team switched off. Mary Lou, red team's first nomination and why? Chef, our first nomination is going to be Cyan. She made mistakes on the fish station today, which caused us to be pulled out of position. That is true. Red team's second nominee and why, please? Our second nominee is going to be Corey. What? Why? We had miscommunications on the team with the tickets, causing us to sell tickets out of order. I asked you all to be honest with each other. I asked you to be accountable. And what you've just given me is bullshit. By far, the worst two performing chefs in the red team this evening are Cyan and by far the worst two performing chefs in the red team this evening are Cyan and Jordan. Therefore, step forward. Jordan, I'm going to start with you. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have more fight, Chef. Um, there was miscommunication between all of us. I, I did put the meet up at one ticket too early. How does that happen? I got mixed up when you called for the salmon. I thought it was the salmon on the next table. So I went with the meat for that salmon. And garnish? There was garnish for a New York strip that was on the previous table, and that's what I saw, and that's Is that what... right? I said two minutes out for French fries for the New York. I heard you say two minutes. <laughs> so we started off beautifully. We did, Chef. You got backed up? I did, but I never gave up. 
I kept pushing, I kept fighting. I just had a rough night chef. So when you're getting snowed under, the secret of a great chef is using everybody else around you. Yes, chef. And standing strong. I had people helping me, but at that point, once we're flustered, communication goes, quality yeah. goes, and at that point, we're rushing and not taking our time. But the big question I've got for you, are you better than Jordan? Yes, chef. Theme of the night, accountability. So, my decision is... Jordan. Get back in line. Si, let me tell you something really important. The energy was there, mm -hmm. but you need to open up. Yes, Chef. You need to talk before you go down. Absolutely, Chef. I want you to keep your head up. <laughs> I will, Chef. And do not give up. Understood? Heard, Chef. Give me a jacket, young Yes, man. Chef. This was amazing, Chef. Thank you so much. I learned so much. Thank you to the blue team, the red Love team. Love you, Si. Love you, Y'all take girl. me home. You're my girl. Thank you, We're going to miss you, Thank si. you, Chef. Good night. Take yeah, care. Very bad, Chef. Although I may not be ready right now for Lake Tahoe, my journey was amazing. I fought every day. Chef Ramsey told me to keep my head up, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, period. Ladies, if you honestly think that Cory deserved to leave this competition tonight, you girls are dreaming. Cut the bullshit. Is that clear? Yes, yes Chef. Get out of there. I'm legit pissed off. If that's how you guys want to play the game, bitches, you all on your own. I ain't got nothing to prove to you or anybody else in this competition. All I care about is showing Chef Gordon Ramsay I'm going to be his next head chef. I think everyone on the red team is weak right now, so I'm going to kind of just sit back, get through my dinner services, and just knock them off one by one. I don't think I deserve to be up there tonight. I don't think I was the worst performing cook by any means. Hopefully, Chef Ramsay sees my resilience and my perseverance, because I'm just not prepared to go home yet. I still have more things to do, more things to show, more things to prove. Sai's winning personality and determination were enough to take her far, but her lack of experience made me say sayonara. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Hello. I need to see everybody in the dining room immediately. Heard, Chef. Adam, let's go. One let's surprise go. phone call. Go, go, go. I have something very important to tell you. Leads to an earth-shattering announcement. Tonight, I'm closing Hell's Kitchen. That rocks every chef to their core. I'm having a hard time even breathing right now. Woo! Now at the party. I'll be damned if I don't go down with a fucking fight. Tune in to see who stumbles, who crumbles. Well, I tried one. Yeah, but that was different. And who uh, survives? Amber, do you need help? No. Yes. No.